What we're unveiling today will become a focal point of our outreach efforts, something that Albertans can rely on to have their voices heard. It's called albertasvoice.ca. It's an online portal where we'll post surveys on major issues, providing Albertans with an opportunity to send their opinions directly to us in the official Wild Rose uh, or in the Wild Rose Official Opposition Caucus. Daniel, how is this different from what your party does on Twitter or Facebook or on your own website? Like, why why the need for a completely different site? And well, this is going to be done through for the uh, for our caucus, um, and we wanted to be able to have something that was that was tooled or, or targeted just for a particular, particular survey tool. So it is a feedback mechanism. If you look at what we have on our other mechanisms, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or our website for wildrose.ca, that is pushing information out. It pushes out our press releases. It pushes out our policy statements. We needed something more interactive to be able to collect the information so that we could build it into a policy framework. But I can tell you this, this session, I think everybody is very, very concerned about what we're going to see on March the 7th, and if we're going to see any kind of plan that will get us back into balanced budgets without raising taxes and without going into debt. We'll, we'll have more answers on March the 7th. What I find curious is that we're only going to have 39 days of legislative session this year. I don't know why he's over there, but it does seem to me that the government has a lot of latitude to decide when they're going to start session, when the breaks are going to be. I'm not quite sure why they wouldn't have made the decision to have it at a time when we're actually on constituency break, rather than missing the important bu budget votes. He also was missing during the Education, during the education Act votes. So I, I would say that I, I and my caucus look at being in the legislature as a priority. This is why people voted for us to be here. You're actually supposed to be in legislative session. It's one of the House rules that we have. So I, I think that Mr. Lukasik is going to have to answer that, but I, I find it very hard to believe that he wouldn't have been able to adjust his schedule or that they wouldn't have been able to adjust the session schedule to make sure the Deputy Premier's here. Mr. Flanagan published a piece in the National Post today um, explaining what happened from his perspective. I was wondering if that piece ha softens the attitude of the party whatsoever about him being involved in the future? Does it change anything for you? I didn't read it, and quite quite frankly, it changes nothing for me. The, the comments that he made last week were completely unacceptable and appalling, and I don't think that there's any way that you can you can try to to uh, to talk your way into having Albertans believe that anything that was said was reasonable. 